A summer stroll on campus for Human Development Institute staff member Daryl Mattingly and his colleagues comes to an abrupt change in direction thanks to this set of steps. But this disruption is actually the type of impediment Anna Bard and her team of students needed to discover. We are off on this adventure to map accessibility on campus. So basically what we're trying to do is we're collecting data on curb cuts, ramps, doors, sidewalks in order to make accessible routes for people in wheelchairs to be able to pass through campus more easily. We're hoping to have this information and all this data, you know, directly embedded into the UKY maps. The map will find curb cuts for them. So it's going to be easier for them to get to, to their destination. We're going to migrate the data over to Facilities Information Services and their GIS services over there, and they're going to handle the, the application development. With each measurement they take, the students see their campus in an entirely new perspective. They're, they're really understanding mobility in a whole different way and um, inclusivity in a whole different way. You just have 10 minutes between classes, and they it would take them like, maybe t 30 more minutes. They have to retrace their steps a hundred times in order to find the right place. And for me as a freshman this past year, it was difficult enough to find my way around UK, you know, perfectly capable, able to walk up anything. So I could not imagine being, you know, having to drive a wheelchair around everywhere. The hope is that information will be power for those trying to navigate campus. It, it's more than an inconvenience that folks have to, uh, you know, waste time basically and energy which is really important as well on a busy campus to to find the route that works for them say you go out to funkhauser uh you could walk all around that the signage really isn't the best to the handicap entrance the handicap accessible entrance is around back it's the sub basement there's this little steep ramp that you would miss if you really didn't know where it was and what this map will do is it'll tell those people where on the building that is and it'll give you the most accessible and easily passable route to get to that destination particularly student success has been linked to how students um, plan their day and schedule their day so if if students with disabilities are able to really accurately schedule their classes um, then they have a better shot at, at being successful which you know is what we're all shooting for a goal these students will remember long after they finish this task. I'm getting some very good experience, not only with mapping, but also with uh, people with disabilities, how they feel. Now I understand all the struggles. They, they challenge every day a lot of obstacles and everything, and it opens my mind a lot, a lot to see different perspectives. I, I love the idea that this is sort of a seed that's going to be growing for, uh, you know, as, as the students carry it forward. So this will probably help me in my future career because I'll probably want to design things to where people with disabilities will be able to use them better. Every time we design a new building or anything, we cannot think uh, about people with disabilities and include everything they need. It carries sort of our mission onward in, in a lot of new and exciting ways. Um, five students carrying those principles forward throughout their, their work life is, you know, is incredible. But for now, this team is focused on providing a new tool to help make campus welcoming to everyone. There's all sorts of people navigating our campus, campus, and if we can help them do that quickly and safely, then, you know, we're all better for it. Yeah, well, I love it, just the fact that I'm helping people. It's not, only, it's not a normal job that you just do something because you just have to do it. It feels great to help people and also helping UK.